Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Saturday, March 16th. It's the first week of Lent and week three in the psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 55, and Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 18 to 28. Now join me in singing uh, verse 4 of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columbo. Now listen to God's voice today, and harden not your hearts, as in the desert long ago, when our forebears provoke God. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Give ear to my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my plea. Psalm 55, and please recite it with me. Give ear to my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my plea. Attend to me while I complain. Hear me and answer me. Because of the voice of the enemy because of the oppression of the wicked. For they cast iniquity upon me, and in anger they hate me. My heart is sore within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling have come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. And then I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove. For then I would fly away and be at rest. Then I would wander afar and remain in the wilderness. I would hasten my escape from the raging winds and the storm. Destroy them, O God, and confuse their speech, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night the watchmen go about its walls, but violence and sorrow are in her midst. Wickedness is everywhere in the city. Her streets are never free of deceit and corruption. For it was not an enemy that reproached me. If it had been, then I could have borne it. Neither was it someone that hated me and boasted of himself against me, that I would have hid myself from him. But it was you, my intimate friend, my guide and my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together. We walked together in the house of God. Let death seize them and let them go down quickly into hell. For wickedness is coming among them and in their dwellings. And as for me, I will call upon you, my God, and you will save me. Evening, morning, and noon, I pray and cry aloud, and you shall hear my voice. You have delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were too many against me. You, O God, enthroned of old, shall hear and afflict them. For they never change, and they do not fear you. My companion has raised his hand against me, and has broken our pact. With words smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, and yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden upon the Most High. God shall sustain you. God will never let the righteous stumble. For you, O God, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. The bloodthirsty and deceitful shall not live out half their days, and I will trust in you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and do not hide yourself from my plea. A reading from Deuteronomy chapter 11, beginning at verse 18. You shall put these words of mine in your heart and soul, and you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and fix them as an emblem on your forehead. Teach them to your children, talking about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates, so that your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land 
that Yahweh swore to your ancestors to give them, as long as the heavens are above the earth. If you will dil diligently observe this entire commandment that I am commanding you, loving Yahweh your God, walking in all his ways and holding fast to him, then Yahweh will drive out all these nations before you, and you will dispossess nations larger and mightier than yourselves. Every place on which you set foot shall be yours, and your territory shall extend from the wilderness to the Lebanon, and from the river, the river Euphrates, to the western sea. No one will be able to stand against you. Yahweh your God will put fear and dread of you on all the land on which you set foot, as he promised. See, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing, if you obey the commandments of Yahweh your God that I am commanding you today. And the curse, if you do not obey the commandments of Yahweh your God, but turn away from the way I am commanding you today, to follow other gods that you have not known. And the curse, if you do not obey the commandments of Yahweh your God, but turn from the way that I am commanding you today, to follow other gods that you have not known. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God Most High, accept our burdens, and let us never stumble. Be our peace, and still our trembling hearts, and sustain us always as we place our trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And may Almighty God shine his face upon us. Be merciful to us and bless us, and lead us to everlasting life.